Whoa. I said, whoa, what's good with y'all boys, man, I'm back with another Kid Reaction, baby, hey, 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 what's good with y'all, man, I'm back with y'all with another reaction video, man, we got my man Wilt Chamberlain on the screen, man, still, man, this was a requested video, bro, requested. You already know I got a question for my man right there. What's your number one best center in the world? You only can give me one, though. Who you taking? Number one center. If I had to take a center, take a Tim Duck. He a power forward. No, they switched him to the five two. He ran the five two. Well. At times, yeah, you know, later time. on his career, he I don't know what type of stuff he on. Tim Duncan is a fool, man. But look, I'm taking Tim Duncan. The best center in the world to me is Big Shaq. Oh. I don't think nobody can stop Shaq, yo. Y'all stop Shaq. He did not stop Shaq. Well, he he, he couldn't stop him all the time, but y'all did his thing. You know what I'm Let saying? Him know I'm inclined come. to take y'all over Shaq. You wilder. Y'all back to the basket, the jump hook, the mid range. We ain't doing this no more, y'all. <laughs> we ain't doing this no more. You'll take y'all over Shaq. I'll take y'all over Shaq. Man, this dude tripping, man. Man, you wild, man. Look, yo, <laughs> bro. We gonna get into this video. People say Will Chamberlain was overrated, bro. Like, he he played against a bunch of bumps. No, nah, because he played against um Bill Russell. Bill Russell. I'm talking about when he like first started the league and all that, though. Each his own. <laughs> Alright, let's get into this. Let's see how good he was, bro. I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know too much about Will. Will Chamberlain is often considered the most dominant force that played the game of basketball and one of the greatest players of all time. We already have the top 10 amazing facts on Chamberlain on this channel. And in this video, we'll try to further debunk the myth that is Wilt the Stilt. We'll try to answer the question of how dominant he really was why he only won two championships, and why he didn't really like to dunk. So stay tuned. Yeah, how, how tall was Will, yo? Like 7'1"? Most versatile athlete ever. Will Chamberlain was the strongest NBA player ever, and numerous stories confirm this. Arnold Schwarzenegger once said that Will could lift him up like he was nothing, and multiple 240-pound NBA players said the same thing. Chamberlain was an undefeated shot putter in college, and his record bench press was 550 pounds. Damn. At the age of 59, Wilt was still benching 465, more than some bodybuilders in their prime. Other than strength, Wilt was also extremely fast and agile. What the hell? He could run a 40-yard dash in 4.6 seconds, and his personal best at 100 meters was 10.9, which is bro, mesmerizing pausing. for a guy that is 7. <laughs> Will was a crazy athlete. Am I? He was like a MacGyver or somebody. Right? Will was a god. Oh Jimmy my. God. Bro, he was strong. He was fast. fast. <laughs> oh my God. Something ain't adding up, but they're they going to get into it because yeah. something like he only won two championships. If he was all that, then why he only won two championships? Yeah, let's see, uh, bro. Let's see. Foot one. Allegedly, at a Hollywood party, NFL Hall of Fame running back Jim Brown raced Wilt on a dare, and Wilt won. Oh my Brown, gosh. who was still in his prime, demanded a rematch, but Wilt beat him again. <laughs> Wilt was also extremely athletic, with a vertical leap of over 40 inches, with mm. some reports saying it was even 48 inches, which would qualify for the highest NBA vertical ever. And he was doing that in Chuck Taylors, which makes it even more impressive. With crazy strength, speed, and jumping ability, mm. it's safe to say Wilt was the best athlete ever. Oh, everything. LeBron's man. and Usain Bolt's of the world would give him a run for his money, but neither of them could match his strength. I don't think so, bro. The best mm. shot blocker ever. When there is any talk about Wilt, people usually start with 100 points in a game and right. 50 points per season. Mm. His offense made him famous, and it sold tickets in newspapers. But what is rarely discussed is Chamberlain's defense, mm. while he probably was the best defender mm. in the league. And yes, that also includes Bill Russell. Wilt and Russell were the premier shot blockers in the league that didn't count shot blocking. But if it did, 
Hakeem Olajuwon wouldn't be the NBA all-time leader in blocked shots. Right. When Walter Bellamy first came to the NBA, he had one of the best rookie years ever, averaging 31.6 points per game. To this day, Bellamy's scoring is the best ever by an NBA rookie, behind only Wilt Chamberlain, of course, who averaged 37.6 in his inaugural season. Three. The first time Hold Bellamy on, played it, Wilt, pause it, pause it, pause they both met at his rookie year, he averaged 37? In like an inaugural season, whatever that means. Yeah, I don't know what that means. If y'all know what that is in the comment section, let us know, bro. Yeah, and I, yeah. I don't even know who this dude Walter Bellamy is. You ever heard of him? Never. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> at half court and Walter introduced himself. Hello, Mr. Chamberlain, I'm Walter Bellamy. Wilt then replied with, hello, Walter, you won't get a shot off in the first half. <laughs> Wilt blocked Bellamy nine times in a row in the first half. Mm. When the second half began, Wilt walked over to Bellamy and said, okay, Walter, now you can play. <laughs> he did a very similar thing to Magic Johnson in 1980. At UCLA campus, Magic would play pickup with various college and NBA players in the offseason. Wilt showed up and got in the game. After Magic called a non-existent foul, a 43-year-old Chamberlain got mad. Mm. There will be no more layups in this gym. And he blocked <laughs> every one of Magic's shot after that and ran him out of the gym. Wilt is also the only guy to block Kareem's skyhook, the most unguardable move in history. Mm. Wilt played against himself and then everyone else. Wilt's mother emphasized to him that he is different because of his size, that he's going to be stared at, and that he must use it in a good way and always be well-mannered and kind. So, Wilt grew up an extremely good-natured guy, and on the basketball court, he received a lot more punishment and knocks in the paint than he would give away. He knew that he could beat everybody up, but he refused to do so. Former NBA player and coach Jack McMahon said it best. The best thing that ever happened to the NBA that God made Wilt a nice man. He could have killed us all with that left hand. This behavior was reflected in the way he played the game as well. Wilt was the biggest, strongest, and most athletic player in his era. He could have easily dominated the game with his physical prowess alone. But unlike Olivia Newton-John, Wilt didn't want to get physical, at least not all the time. Nobody loves Goliath, Wilt said to Sports Illustrated explaining that he wanted to show the world he's a skillful player, and not just a brute force. He also admitted that him playing a finesse game and trying to be a versatile scorer actually hurt his career. What hurt me was that I wanted to be a consummate basketball player, and I wanted to be able to shoot the ball instead of just taking it to the basket and dunk it as I should have. I had great satisfaction shooting fadeaway shots, hook shots, wow. finger rolls, and a lot of times, that was a negative more than a positive. Mm. If I just went out and took it to the basket every time, I'd have averaged 70 or 80 points a game, mm. Wilt said. Things that were extraordinary were just ordinary for Wilt. And if we look at Wilt's stats, there is a huge discrepancy from the first half of his career when he shot more than 30 times per game and the okay, second half Wilt. when he yeah. averaged only 13 field goal attempts per contest. Wilt wow. was his own man not really bothered too much by everyone else. And if he set his mind to do something, he would do it. So, after the 65-66 season, Wilt decided not to score as much. After he averaged 40 in his first seven seasons, Damn. he wanted to prove that he can also pass and became the league leader in assists and is still the only center with this achievement. Can you imagine Michael Jordan saying one day, okay, fellas, I'm not scoring anymore. From now on, I'll only pass everybody would think Mike had gone mad. After Wilt decided to pass the ball more, the press wrote a story that he couldn't score anymore. So naturally, in the next three games, the Big Dipper had 62, 55, and 48 points just to prove them wrong. Wilt was as potent as ever, and the athletic freak that he was, he could have averaged over 30 for every year of his career. He just got tired of it. <laughs> Watching Wilt, you always kind of got the idea he was just playing with people that he was on cruise control and still 10 times better than anybody else that was playing at that time, said Dan Issel, a former NBA player and coach. Two very different men, both larger than life and forever linked in history of the game. Any conversation about Wilt almost always involves Bill Russell and vice versa. 
They were the two best players of their time, and their careers will forever be intertwined. With his physical ability, statistical achievements, and pure dominance over everybody else, Wilt would likely be considered the best player ever. However, he's not even considered the best player of his time. And for a casual fan, he's just a guy with good numbers, while Russell was the winner. And the truth is, somewhere in the middle. In 94 regular season meetings, Russell won 57 to Chamberlain's 37. In 49 playoff games, Russell came away victorious 29 times to Chamberlain's 20. Between okay, the so years 1960 and 1969, yeah, Wilt's teams were faced against Russell's Celtics eight times in the playoffs, with four of those going to the deciding game seven. Russell won all four, but the total point differential was just nine points in all game sevens combined. So, a couple of bounces the other way, and the rings narrative That's could have wild, been different. Positive, bro. Also, so the Lakers and Celtics, they had beef. Started way hey. earlier before Magic and uh way Larry before Bird. Magic Larry Bird. It went from Mad it went from Wilk and Bill Russell, you know, Jerry West and you know, Jerry West, what is it, K E C Jones and all those guys. Right. It went from them, then it went to Magic and Bird. And right. then it went to Kobe and Garnett and Paul Pierce and all that. Okay, okay. You see Bro. what I mean? Okay, now look. Honest with y'all though. Watching this video on Wilt, I just don't believe he probably was the greatest center alive. Mm -hmm. If they explaining this right mm -hmm. and everything is accurate the way they saying, mm -hmm. I believe he probably was one of the best players to ever touch a basketball, bro. Mm -hmm. He was very athletic. Right. He dumped down his game because it was unfair. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, ah, so just imagine a prime Wilt against Shaq. What you think? They both now, now, we uh, all can say Shaq didn't care. He was going to dump on your mother if he had to. Yeah. A prime Wilk against a prime Shaq. Prime uh, Yao yeah. Ming, Shaq. Um, just like, you know, a more of a closer generation towards me. It would have been tougher for Wilk. It would have been tough. Cause, been tough and then you got to think about jump shots and all. But Wilk, he seemed, I mean, he most likely probably could have adjust, bro. Mm. He was an amazing athlete. Yeah. He liked 7-1. I, I think he's 7-1. Excuse me if I'm wrong. Like yeah. seven one seven two. He might be. He might be a little bit shorter. Yeah, that. fastest player, mm -hmm. strongest player. Mm -hmm. He's a god on the court. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was a cheat code back then. <laughs> like, <laughs> but one thing I'm gonna say, and I'm, I, I hope y'all take this the wrong way. And Wilt Chamberlain, Bill Russell, era. Mm -hmm. How was the competition? The competition wasn't. Like it was the day you um you didn't you didn't you had more guys that wasn't you know naturally athletic. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Like every superstar might have had you know maybe one superstar on their team, and some teams probably didn't have any superstars on. Wow. Wow. Cause it's, you know, cause it it was different back then. It was different back then. The league was definitely different back in the um the fifties, the sixties, and the seventies. So. I, I heard like basketball probably wasn't like the number one. I'm not trying to say it's number one now, but yeah. it wasn't like a real popular sport back then. Probably, probably like baseball was. Yeah, I heard like Larry and Magic changed that completely about basketball. Mm -hmm. That's what I heard. It might have been earlier. Y'all can let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong, but that's definitely what I heard. But this, this, this story about Wilt. I, I really didn't know too much. It's definitely like real life interest. I'm not even going to hold you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Hit the... Uh... Russell had the best coach in the game and better teammates. However, that was also by design. Damn, give me that. Russell wasn't the physical freak like Chamberlain and was not a highly touted player. Bill quickly realized that for success, he needs the whole team around him to be great. Russ wasn't as good a scorer as Wilt was, and even though he was capable, his intention wasn't to score himself. He always wanted to get the rest of the guys involved. He was the passer at his position. But unlike Wilt, he wasn't trying to lead the league in assists to prove it. Russell wasn't a better individual player than Wilt. It was the other way around. If they played one-on-one, -on -one, Wilt would always come up on top. In their 94 regular season games, Wilt averaged 30 points and 28 rebounds to Russell's 14 and 23. Mm. In the playoffs, it was similar. 
Wilt had 25.7 and 28, while Bill averaged 15 and 24.7 boards. But Russell was a superior leader and didn't care about the numbers, <laughs> what others might think of him. And there lies the secret. Russell's game was constructed around team basketball. And because basketball is a team sport, the result in championships is 11 to 2. Even though some of the series were really close and could have gone the other way, Wilt would have been better off in an individual sport. And he understood that too. Sometimes the mere power of you makes you more the individual player. Russell was more complete and was able to help his team win more than I did. Wilt Chamberlain on the Boston Celtics would not have been the same. Right. I would take away from Bob Cousy and Tom <laughs> Heinsohn because I was a scorer too. So sometimes less is better. Wilt said about the eternal question of who is better between the two. Wilt was the Renaissance man. Mm -hmm. Wilt Chamberlain was a guy larger than life who lived life to the fullest. He was interested in everything and wanted to experience everything. He had a big heart, but was also a huge loner. And if you understand who he was as a person, that gives you a better <laughs> understanding of who he was as a player. He achieved the biggest scoring feat in NBA history and then decided it was time to start passing and became the best passer in the league. Mm -hmm. He could have dunked everything, but wanted to become a versatile scorer. He still holds the record for the highest field goal percentage ever. He slept with one woman only to start flirting with the next one. <laughs> uh -oh. After he retired from basketball, he became the best volleyball oh, no, player. <laughs> Man, ain't had to throw that in there. Why he had to throw that in there about the females, yo? No, because they say Wilk slept with over 20,000 women. For real? That's what he said. That's what, yeah, that's what he said. So, so Wilk was out here getting it in there. Wilk, Wilk was doing Wilk. <laughs> and that's who Wilk really was. Never satisfied, always exploring and moving to the next thing. If he wanted to, he could have settled down. If he wanted to, he could have dunked every ball and won more championships. But that would have been boring. That would have been too physical. And he wouldn't have explored everything he could do. And that explains Chamberlain as a player. He was a Goliath. Oh, he didn't want to be just the Goliath. Mm -hmm. Because it's not as challenging. And nobody likes those guys anyway. That's a dope story. That was dope. Look at my man Dennis up there. We got to get Dennis. the Dennis, yeah. We gotta wow. get to Dennis. We gotta do a reaction um, on Dennis one day. Let us know in the comments section who y'all asked you what would like to be next. You mm -hmm. feel me? So what you think about Wilt though, bro? Overall, uh, back in the day, Wilt was was unstoppable. But at the same time, watching this video led me to know he actually had weaknesses too. You know okay, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when he said he would actually take away from those other players' games. Yeah. He wouldn't have did the same thing as Bill Russell did on the Celtics and stuff like that. And that's that's real. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's authentic for somebody to actually know that and not afraid to just say you it. Know, so, just admit yeah, that. That's what I that's what I got from. But Wit was definitely a cheat code. He was a demigod on the court and another demigod like Bill Russell, you know, had to match him in order for the game to be competitive. Yeah, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Um, Will Chamberlain definitely, I, I, I really didn't know too much about it. Of course, you heard of the 100 points. Who didn't hear of the history mm -hmm. of the 100 points? But I never knew he was one of the strongest, mm -hmm. one of the fastest. I just thought that he was a regular center. Like, he just <laughs> was a beast back in the day or something. Like, yeah. I never knew Will was this amazing. And me learning about Will, like I told y'all before, bro, he would have been amazing in today's game, bro. One of the fastest and strongest player. Man, come on. Yeah, that's all you yeah. need in today's game, to be honest with you. And uh, uh, he probably going to need like a little three-point shot mm -hmm. <laughs> in today's game. I but yeah, Will could do the three-point shot. Yo, no, I don't think most people back in the day could do the three, yo. That's why I wasn't no three-point line. <laughs> Look, man, we ain't going to hold y'all too long. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Let us know in the comments section who, who would y'all like to be next. You know, who would y'all like to, for us to react to next. And I'm out, baby. One.